Hello everyone. Let's see the change of variable in triple integral. Already shared with you about the double integral. Now the first one is the general case. Here if we want to change the triple integration of function of three variable with respect to x, y, z by using a suitable substitution. Like here if I put x is equals to something in u, v, w and y also equals to in u, v, w and z also equals to in u, v, w then it is equals to Jacobian mod of Jacobian du, dv, dw where j is actually the Jacobian of transformation from x, y, z to the new variable, new coordinates these are called u, v, w and we know we have already discussed that how to calculate Jacobian we find out the determinant of the current variable which is x, y, z with respect to u, v, w the partial derivative of one variable with respect to u, v and w is my first row second you can do for y with respect to u, v, w and third you can do for z with respect to u, v, w and there will be the next any value which you got is called the Jacobian of the transformation and so when you have a any function of three variable you can put it over here and again repeating if we are having any complicated function which cannot be solved in x y z we can change it into the new variable so that is a general case now the particularly usually in multiple integral we come across a region which is cylindrical in shape so here we can use the change of uh, variable the number one is if we want to change the Cartesian or you can say rectangle coordinates x, y, z into cylindrical polar coordinates. So cylindrical polar coordinates are r, theta and z. So here what I mean to say that here x and y are having the same circular base and the height is I want to change to I don't want to find the height uh, don't want to change the z coordinate so either you can uh, put it equals to x is equals to r cos theta y is equals to r sin theta z is equals to z why because the x y relation is in the circular mode and z can be treated in the same model so there is no problem in z so we can say that it can be cylinder or it can be paraboloid so we can we can uh, keep z as it is so here when we solve the jacobian jacobian comes out to be r here so that is a jacobian value so dx dy dz replaced by r dr d theta dz and uh, the important point which i want you should remember that what replacement or what substitution is for x x is substituted as r cos theta y is substituted as r sin theta z is equals to remain as z and then the integration will get affected and we will get a new format of integration in r theta z which is r d r d theta dz and i want that there is a point you should remember where to apply apply this in cylinders and paraboloids Paraboloids means when you have a z is equals to something in x square plus y square they are called the paraboloid or minus x square minus y square means when z is having a wherever we see x square plus y square and it is a 3d uh, region so we can switch over to the cylindrical polar coordinate that is one point one should remember and uh, similarly we can convert the rectangular or you can say Cartesian coordinate system into a spherical polar coordinate system which is r phi theta in a spherical poly, uh, coordinate system what we are observing we have to substitute x is equals to r sin phi cos theta y is equals to r sin phi sin theta z is equals to r cos phi and uh, here with the help of diagram I can I want to explain you all that any point in the space which is x, y, z can be having a r distance away from the origin so that becomes the first coordinate and this line can make angle any angle with z axis so here z axis is required so z axis is making an angle phi with the, this ray from the origin and this z axis can have a maximum angle from 0 to pi that's why because it is a line 
and then if you drop this point on the xy plane and here if it is a y axis and if it is a x axis then this line which is which is away from origin in x and y is making angle phi so angle phi is uh, here i'm sorry i want to make a uh, some changes this is angle theta phi is here and this is the xy plane angle is theta so it is the angle made in the plane so plane is a full uh, two dimensional disc uh, i would say a sheet and that makes 0 to 2 pi so these are some important points which one should remember that uh, first z is equals to r cos phi phi is the angle of z so it is with cos and uh, this is x is equals to r sin phi cos theta y is equals to r sin phi sin theta so these are the substitution for spherical polar coordinate and when we solve the determinant the way we have discussed here that we are three variables so with respect to three new variable when we solve the determinant uh, is called jacobian and here the jacobian comes out to be r square sin phi and then dx dy dz the small volume is converted into r square sin phi dr d theta d phi d theta and then integration can be happen in this manner and uh, we get the evaluation i want to share one more point here that these notations vary from uh, sometimes it's not there is no hard and fast rule to fix these uh, symbols i want to share with you one more way of doing the notation like let me let me discuss here for example the rectangular coordinate system are x y z cylindrical coordinate system are used here is a row phi z so it means if you can it like in previous case i took r and theta so if it is x is equals to rho cos phi y is equals to rho sin phi z is equals to z then this this radius actually is comes out to be the jacobian and accordingly your integration will happen so there is not an hard and fast it can be r it can be theta it can be z, z like the previous case so this become r here and so this become r here this become dr here this become d theta and this become dz so it vary from person to person book to book that what are the substitution only one point is to be taken care that whatever is the radius that comes out to be the jacobian and uh, similarly if we see the spherical polar coordinates now x y z rectangular form or cartesian form if you are replacing here r theta phi then what happened now here what why i am sharing this point in my previous case what i did i put z i put phi as a z axis angle here theta is a z axis angle so obviously when z is equals to cos phi but here z is equals to r cos theta phi is equals to means whatever is the z for, for example if this angle i take as a theta then z is equals to r cos theta and here this angle i am taking as a if i take this as a z axis and if i take this as a x axis and if i take it as a y axis and i want to say this is a point and it is r distance away and it is making angle theta if this is making angle theta so z is equals to r cos theta and uh, this distance is this distance is r sin theta so if this distance is r sin theta so i got a uh, x value is a r sin theta is a new radius in the xy plane actually so here r sin theta cos phi r sin theta sin phi and jacobian in this case is with sin theta so theta and phi these are just a notation for two different angle one angle notation is with the z axis another angle notation is with the xy plane so if you are having if you are having this as a value of uh, x and y so always remember the one sin phi sin phi is a common so jacobian will be r square sin phi here here sin theta 
साइन थीटा इज अ कॉमन इन एक्स एंड वाई विच इज अ रेडियस इन एक्स वाई प्लेन सो जो कोबियन कम्स आउट टू बी आर स्क्वायर साइन थीटा एंड इन दिस वे वी कैन राइट द कार्टिजन और रेक्टेंगुलर कॉर्डिनेट इन टू स्फेरिकल पोलर कॉर्डिनेट